This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, thank you. Okay, guys, let's get started. So, a very warm welcome to this uh, Microsoft SCCM online training session. Now, <clears throat> let me introduce myself. My name is Kashif. I am from India, Mumbai. I have somewhere around 13 years of practical IT experience. I have completed uh, graduation from Mumbai University and later on I started working on uh, working as a uh, SCCM, uh, sorry, system administrator. I started working as system administrator and then I was moved into SCCM uh, level one team, then level two, level three, and now I'm working as SCCM architect. So my primary roles and responsibility is to implement SCCM in companies. Okay. Apart from that, those uh, primary roles and responsibility, I am involved in this online and uh, corporate training wherein I can, ex you know, I can share my experience and knowledge with other people who are looking for SSCM uh, training. So that's about me, guys. Let me take you to the next slide. So since we are doing the weekday session, weekday session, daily uh, 90 minutes, that is one and a half hours, Monday to Friday, and it will take 28 days. That means uh, one month to finish all the topics. Now let's, uh, let me give you a quick uh, historical background of SCCM. So SCCM started in 1994 and the name of this product was SMS, System Management Server. Okay, so these are the earlier versions of uh, SCCM. Then Microsoft changed the name in the year 2007, SCCM, System Center Configuration Manager. So they released SCCM 2007, then 2012, then 1511. From here, they changed the name again. So 2015, November, 1511, year and month. And then they are, yeah, they are releasing SCCM three times per year. So these are the versions released in the year 2016. These are the versions released in the year 2017. These are the versions released in the year 2018. And the year 2019, 1902, 1906, 1910. Understood. Last year they released these three versions. Now this year they have released 2002, but this is still in technical preview. So latest and greatest version, which you can take it in the, into the production, is 1910. So it started from 1994, right? And the latest and greatest version is 1910. So almost like 25 years this product is there in the market. So it's a matured product. Millions and millions of computers are being managed through this product. Thousands and thousands of companies all over the globe have implemented SCCM in their premises. And you have a lot of opportunities because if SCCM is there, people also need SCCM administrators, right, to work on that. So you have good opportunities with SCCM. You can make your career in it, in this one. Understood. Any question? Anyone? Iqbal, is it clear? Yes, Kasif, I'm good. Mm. 
now this certification was valid till last year 2019 december but this is now expired so microsoft is gonna release a new exam probably this month so the cost of the exam was 160 us dollar or 4800 indian rupees total marks 700 you need to score out of 1000 to pass the exam that's uh, the exam then you will become SCCM certified but this is expired now and you will have a new exam now now if you <coughs> talk about the opportunities in SCCM there are a lot of opportunities all over the globe because this product is implemented in thousands and thousands of companies around the world right and that's the reason it has many opportunities so it holds 43 percent of market share you know if you compare with other SS, other products like sccm for example ibm big fix all terrace then you have a land desk then you have tanium these are different third-party application which works similar to sscm but sscm is leading the market you know leading all these product it is on the top these are also being utilized in companies but very uh, limited in number so people who are working on sscm profile they are expecting a salary of they can earn a salary of 45 us dollar as per the statistic per hour this is average salary okay some people are getting more than this some people are getting less than this but this is average salary those who are in india can expect a salary of 800000 indian rupees per year 8 lakh per year that's the average salary okay you can get more than this or less than this but that's the average salary so you have a lot of opportunities in <coughs> in uh, you know if you look for job portals you will uh, you will find uh, opportunities related to sscm now we have three sites in sscm central primary and secondary central site is an optional site you may or may not have this site in your companies primary is mandatory and secondary is also an optional site okay central administration site is needed when you have a more than 100,000 devices to manage. It's an optional site in SSCM. That's the first point. Okay. <clears throat> it is needed because of these two criteria. It is required when you have more than 100,000 devices. Plus, it is needed when you have more than one primary site understood then only central administration site is required otherwise it is not required central administration site it is used for administration and reporting you know you are not deploying anything through central administration site you don't uh, you know send uh, deployment policies through central administration site it is just for collecting inventory and 
it will sit on the top level it will sit on the top of the hierarchy which i'll explain later on for now you understand it is an optional site it is needed because of these two criteria it is used for administration and reporting it requires sql database that means if you have central administration site it will store all its data into database it will have a separate database it will keep on storing everything in the database and that sql database not the different database you know there are other seek uh, like oracle database or sybase database it needs sql database microsoft sql database it does not process client data that means the client which are installed in computers for example this is windows 10 computer client is installed on each one of them client will never talk to central administration site that's not possible for a client to talk to central administration site okay it does not support client assignment both are same that means client has got nothing to do with central administration site so that's point number four and five so these are the five points you have to understand clear any question guys yes uh, kasif when you say these uh, you know uh, central site or primary secondary so what exactly those are some sort of modules or the different instance so how do you define this primary site okay so it is like a server okay so on windows server suppose if you are installing domain controller that becomes domain controller server <clears throat> or if you are installing dhcp then that becomes your dhcp server or dns server similarly on a windows server if you install central administration site that becomes your central administration site server understood okay so suppose this is windows let's say 2019 server this is windows 2019 server and you make this server as central administration site server you install that role on that one that component so you mean to, so, okay so these are the components of scc right okay these are not these are the sites in essence components are you know a small uh, small part but these are the major uh, sites in SCCM. there are three sites central primary and secondary so which will be in the hierarchy you have like you know i will show you the hierarchy later on okay. so these are coming into the hierarchy of SCCM. For example, my grandfather, then my father, and then myself. So this is my hierarchy. Similarly, SCCM has the hierarchy of central, primary, and secondary. Understood? Okay. Then you have primary side. <clears throat> so in this one, you have to understand that primary site is the mandatory site without this you cannot manage devices so it's not possible to manage devices without primary site so sccm when you talk about sccm you have to have primary site simple as that now it cannot be a child of another primary for example there is a primary right another primary cannot be a child of any primary site okay so primary site is itself like a parent site it cannot be a child of any other primary site it manages client in well connected network that means suppose i am in noida there are like 50000 devices in noida and all are connected through fiber optic cable fiber cable right so we can manage all those devices in that type of connection 
but devices which are located on WAN network, you know, those devices which are not present in the same location, if they are connected uh, in a different branch offices, then primary side needs a secondary side to manage those devices. But primary can manage all the devices which are present on local LAN network. It also needs a SQL database. Just like central primary site server will store everything in database, SQL database. Okay. And if you have, let's say, if you have central administration site, which is an optional site, if you have, then central will be sitting on the top and primary will report to central like this. And central also have a database. So this primary database will replicate the data with central database. Clear? Yes. Is it clear, guys? Uh, one thing, Kasir. So when you're saying so, uh, so primary site will predominantly takes care of all the clients which are local to it. So for any van or remote machines, uh, we need to deploy mm. in every such instance a secondary site to manage those. Secondary, yeah, either secondary or site system. I'll let you know what you have to do for branch offices. Okay. Now support client assignment. That means all the clients suppose these are windows 10 or windows 7 the client will be installed SCCM client will be installed on each one of them right so they will be assigned to primary okay okay so these are important points first is it's a mandatory second it cannot be a child of any other primary site it manages clients on local LAN network it requires SQL database and uh, it replicates the data with central administration side and it support client assignment. Clients are always assigned to primary site. Now let's talk about secondary site. If you have devices in remote location van network for example noida is the headquarter and bangalore and chennai has branch offices and in branch offices you have some computers like 2000 computers in chennai and 2000 computers in bangalore so primary site you know will not be able to manage those devices which has low network connectivity so you need another site which can collect inventory or which can <clears throat> do certain tasks in that location. So we need a secondary site for computers which are located in different location. So it is an optional site. If you do not have branch offices, you don't need this one. That's the first point. Second point, is this one it is needed when you have devices in branch offices on remote location third point it stores data in sql express or sql server database okay it also needs a database that's the third point okay it replicates its data with primary site database. It does not support client assignment. Clients will all, clients are always assigned to primary, not central, I mean, not secondary. Okay. So the hierarchy, I'll show you the hierarchy first. Yeah. This is three, these are three pictures. Okay. First picture is what? This is for small offices. Let's say only one location, Houston. You don't have any branch offices. You have all computers connected on local LAN network. You need one primary site. And that primary site will 
handle all these computers located in that location houston 50000 for example all are located connected on local lan network primary site is sufficient to handle all those computers but in, in case if you are running a medium sized company wherein you have a medium sized company okay this is for a small size company now medium sized company where you have a branch offices as well so primary site will sit here on the headquarter and secondary site will be there in the branch offices so seattle and boston let's say there are 2000 devices in seattle 2000 devices in boston so we need secondary site because they are connected on van network not on local lan network so these secondary site will report to primary so this one this example is for primary plus secondary clear yes this one the this one is for big size organization wherein you have central plus primary plus secondary so in case if you have more than one hundred thousand devices and more than one primary site then you need central administration site will be sitting on the top of the hierarchy right then multiple primary site let's say primary site one primary site two and primary site three and these primary site will report to central administration site and you have secondary site respective secondary site for respective uh, they will resp report to respective primary site and these will report to this one this this will report to this one if you have some secondary site here they will report to this one any question guys that's if i have a, a i need a clarity so when you write that so if you go to your previous slide where you have mentioned for secondary sites and you know when you write that it's not involved in any sort of client assignments what exactly you mean by those assignments uh -huh. where only primary site is doing okay. so maybe so... a few examples <clears throat> For example, this is primary site. Okay. That is located in Noida. Okay. Okay. Now we have another location, Bangalore. Okay. That's so for, and there are like 2000 devices in Bangalore. Mm -hmm. So what we need, we need secondary site here. Secondary site. Yep. Right. Now, the devices 2000 devices let's say these are windows 10 2000 devices client will be get installed so every computer will have to have a client right yes assignment will always be primary site assignment but the the inventory and other things can be collected from the secondary site Okay, understood. Okay, Deploy. so you mean to the say deployment will happen to... through secondary site? Uh, mm. Okay, so deployment will happen through secondary site. Hmm. Deploy all the contents will be deployed through secondary site. Inventory will be collected through secondary site. It will collect all the information in in this database, and then it will pass on to this primary site database. But the assignment will always be for example let's talk about let's say you are hcl employee okay okay and you you are on a client location where in um, in uh, ibm you are working for ibm but you are an you are the employee of hcl so you will be all you will always be assigned to hcl understood but all the work what you, what you are doing you are doing it for ibm understood 
are you getting or not maybe you know, this is where i'm you know a bit like confused between so i understood what exactly the secondary site will do on those clients you know all sort of deployment mm. so what exactly we are meaning by those assignment which primary site will do primary site is like you know the client will be assigned to primary assigning means um it is associated that means it is uh, the primary side is the main parent side for all the devices but primary side will send instruction to the client that if you need something you can take it from secondary side understood okay secondary side is just for the deployment purpose and collecting inventory so all the things will pass on through secondary side understood oh, okay so the records of those 2000 devices in this example are you, as you're explaining can it be found in the primary mm -hmm. site also yes because okay. this database will ultimately go going to replicate here in okay. the primary site database so this is just a temporary storage it will keep on sending it to the sending it to the primary site Okay, good. Thank you. So, as I told you that every site has a database, whether it is secondary or primary or central, every site has a database. And the replication will happen always from downward to upward. Secondary will send the data to primary and primary will send the data to central. Then we have site roles. These are few roles which are, these are the components of SCCM, okay? Previously, we were talking about sites, primary, secondary, and central. Those are the sites, but these are the components, the role of SACM, okay? Site roles, the management point, distribution point, fallback status point. These roles we will talk about later on, okay? Now, these are few ICCM features and functionalities like you can collect inventory of your you know uh, devices let's say there are 10,000 devices and if you if you would like to know the inventory hardware and software information of those devices you can get your hardware and software details of all the computers you don't have to uh, write it down on a piece of paper SCCM will help you to find out the inventory of all those devices asset intelligence to categorize software plus it will also help you to give you the license consumption details so asset intelligence is one of the features in SCCM which will help you to do all those tasks software metering will help you to give you the software utilization details client management you can deploy application you can deploy updates you know patches to your computers you can deploy operating system you can manage contents so these are the contents which you can manage through sscm compliance setting to find out how many computers are compliant or non-compliant power management to deploy power policy let's say after seven o'clock i want all the computer to shut down or all the computers to go in the sleep mode or hibernate mode i can deploy that kind of policy client health it gives you a dashboard of the client whether the clients are healthy or unhealthy endpoint protection antivirus that's the inbuilt antivirus which you can control through sscm you can also manage mobile devices android iphone ios devices then you have administrative features like 
role-based administration. If you are good in application deployment, I'm going to give you application deployment role. If you are good with uh, software update deployment, I'm going to give you software update role. So you will be able to do only those certain tasks. You will not have full permission. You will have limited permission. Remote management to take remote, just like I'm sharing my computer with you. Similarly, through SCCM, you can user can share their computer with the administrators. Reporting, you have multiple formats like PowerPoint, uh, sorry, uh, Excel, CSV, Word, PDF. You can get your reports into those formats. Monitoring, you can monitor your sites and site components and site roles. If something goes wrong, it will generate an alert and you can then troubleshoot and fix those problems. Now lab setup. So I would like you guys to set up your lab either on local computer or on Microsoft Azure Cloud Data Center. Now, Sairam and uh, Pramesh, did you subscribe with Azure free trial? Yes, I subscribed. Yeah, Pramesh, you have done? Yes. Sairam? Yes. Yeah, I've done it. Yeah. Okay. Now, Iqbal, you have two options. Either you go with uh, local lab, that means the computer which you have you can set it up on your local laptop or desktop but that's the minimum this is sorry this is the minimum configuration you need 12 gigabyte of ram quad core processor 300 gb of ram 300 gb of hard disk if you do not have that one then you can go on microsoft azure cloud data center and that will give you 30 days free trial 30 days so within 30 days we will finish our all you know practicals and assignment and everything and after 30 days if you would like to continue you will have to pay to microsoft okay so that will not imply on this local one so even local is 30 days trial no no local is 180 days trial okay six months and Azure is only one month. Okay. Okay. Lab architecture will be like this. We will have three Windows server and one client computer. Question guys. So, uh, Kashif, mm -hmm. you have the instructions, right? How to set up all those things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll guide you from tomorrow. Okay. We'll start all doing all the practicals. Or, yeah. Let me uh, see. Did you? Okay. I'm going to make uh, Pramesh as a presenter. Pramesh, can you share your screen? And I would like to see your uh, this thing. Oh, yeah, sure. Azure uh, portal. Hmm. Okay, can you take me to Azure portal, please? Okay, one minute. Portal.azure.com. Close this, uh, yeah. 
on the top on the top you have cross mark the right hand side yeah one minute yeah i created uh, three virtual machines oh you created one week ago uh, yeah because of know last time one one of your guy given demo in directly creation of this one that's the right oh when uh last uh, friday you know friday or tuesday i think i i showed you Not, this one or somebody else or somebody else what's the what was the name of that guy lakshman or one minute the name one minute i'll show you Okay. Okay, that's not a problem if you are not able to find that one. Um, so you created uh, resources already. Can you go to virtual machine? Yeah, okay. RG underscore S E A and okay. Hmm. Lakshman. Okay. Fine. No worries. Um. So yeah, Iqbal, I will uh, guide you step by step how to go about it. Today I will send you an email. You have to set it up your uh, Azure account today. Okay. And okay. from tomorrow we will start doing all the uh, lab setup. Sure. Okay. Any question before we wrap it up? Sairam, you have any question? I'm good. You, you did you also uh, created virtual machine or not yet? No, no, no. I have not created any virtual machine. Just okay. I have created an app. Okay. Very good. I'll guide you. Okay. Okay, yeah, guys. this is okay. Can I uh, delete this mission? So, okay, it's okay. For... Which uh, server you have taken? Windows Server 2019 or 2008, 12, I think. Uh, can I how to edit? Can I go show it to delete them? Check all the boxes. So, uh, so what you attended the attended the demo? Yeah, demo. Guy, right? Yes. Oh, okay. The more okay. it directly enter to this creation of this one first day itself. Okay, okay, okay. And you, okay, fine. No, no worries. So you can delete these ones because we need Windows Server 2019, the latest one, not 12. And delete. IBS and click yes. After that, after a few minutes, when it is gone, you go to disk on the top, search disk on the top. Yeah. On the top search yes. disk. Okay. You have search box. Yes, disk. Choose that one. Yeah. Delete all these disk as well, one by one. Click on database. No, no. Click on database first. Click on yeah. database. No, don't check the box. You just click. Yes. 
and delete so you contacted that guy directly or uh, through some institute or something uh, some instructor I mean. what is the name of that one that instant name same only mind magic sound okay okay fine no worries thank you yeah. we'll uh, meet later on tomorrow we will have a session same time Iqbal, I will send you the email. You need to, uh, there we have some steps you have to create your Azure subscription. Okay, Kasif. I think uh, the email what you'll send will have the local lab instructions also. I'll try if my laptop is feasible for that. You know, with the configurations mm -hmm. what you said, because I would rather prefer keeping that for six months instead or else you know, every time I have to subscribe using a new mail ID, maybe within the family itself to retain that 30 days of trial. Mm, right, right. No, sure. it's, it's not. We are discussing your latest version to the, uh, sorry, to 1902 only, you know, uh, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah, whatever the latest we have it on as uh, Microsoft. Okay. Uh, okay. It's. No, I have already 500 and uh, 12 GB RAM, but uh, Intel Core i3 is there. It's not supported. i3 will. Uh, you have SSD or the old HD hard disk? Yeah, okay, inbuilt hard disk only. SSD hard disk? The latest one, solid state or the spinning disk? Oh, no, it is a full. Uh, okay so if you take ssd then it will be supported because the previous hd hard disk will run very slow okay so i would not recommend okay ssd yeah, yeah ssd okay i will check once again okay, okay. Uh, today yeah <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, mm. okay, one more thing. Could you please share this link? Uh, so, what is the recording link of mail ID also to mail in WhatsApp and mail both if it's possible? Okay, sure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, guys. Thank you.